This is the voice of Russia in London. With the latest in our regular series of interviews with Russians who live in London, we talk to fashion designer Alexandra Kiabi, who's here studying fashion at St. Martin's College of Art and Design. Alice Lanyardo started by asking Alexandra how she first happened to visit the capital. Uh, first I came here about four or five years ago. I just came as a tourist to visit my friends and to visit London Fashion Week. And I fall in love in the city. When you came, were you already a fashion designer? Yeah, I had my own business for eight years already. And what kind of uh, fashion do you create? Well, that's quite difficult to describe that. <laughs> it's something historical and something contemporary put together. And I'm always trying to find some new ways how to represent the history in the modern life. I think that's it. So you'd already set up a, a fashion design business in St. Petersburg at quite a young age. That's quite an achievement. Yeah, that's true. I started, I was 21, something like that. It was, it was quite difficult to do that. And you know, I don't have fashion education. I'm studying now at St. Martin's, what I'm doing now in London. <laughs> and before that, my first degree is psychology, it's clinical psychology. So why did you decide to move from psychology to fashion? I had a practice for three years in a mental hospital. So, and after that, I really decided to change my subject. You worked in a mental hospital for three years? It was just the practice of studying things. We had some sort of lectures there with our tutors. And I saw so many terrible things and I don't know, I decided really to, to change. What kind of terrible things? I saw people uh, after suicide, after trying to commit suicide, and I don't know, it's quite difficult. Very upsetting, I imagine. Very upsetting, and when you see that, and when they talk to you, and you begin to feel their feelings, do you know what I mean? It's quite difficult. So, and after that, I understood that I don't want to spend all my life in that problems. In that kind of environment, so you moved to something a bit more positive. Exactly. So how did you make that move and become a fashion designer so young? As I remember, I always interested in sewing things. It was so interesting for me to sew, to create things by myself. If I want to create something, I just went to the shop, bought some fabrics and made it. I think it's maybe a small sort of talent. It's a great talent, but how did you make that move from making your own clothes to actually running a, a fashion business? And one day I understood that I don't want just to sew things, just to produce them. And I understood that it's much more interesting to make some sort of design, some sort of arts. And now you've moved to London. You're already an established fashion designer. Why did you feel the need to come and study fashion here at St. Martin's? As I said, I don't have fashion education and I decided that I really would like to get it. How good was your English when you first moved here? Uh, that's a funny story with my English. I had not any practice for 10 years and when I came here, I couldn't understand what people were talking around me and it was so, so confusing. Still now I'm living here and I don't have good practice in English because all my friends are Russians and in the university I have an international group so and English is not good in my group really. <laughs> is there anything that you found difficult when you first moved to London apart from the language? I don't know. I really fall in love in this city and I think there were no difficulties for me. And what do you like about it? I like that this so green city, a lot of parks, squares, especially after St. Petersburg, you know, a lot of stones. St. Petersburg, no, it's not as green in the centre, although you do have places like Pushkin outside the city. Yeah, but you have to go there outside and it takes time. So you like the green that's in the centre of yeah, London? Yeah, and I like these uh, houses with small gardens, it's amazing. Do you live in one? Yeah, I live in a very beautiful house with a amazing garden. St. Petersburg is one of the most beautiful cities in the world. You must feel that about your home city, that it, it's a fantastic city. Or do St. Petersburgers sometimes get so used to living in St. Petersburg that they forget? 
You know, I love St. Petersburg, but when I'm here, I love St. Petersburg only in summertime. But it's so, so difficult to live there in winter when it's cold, when everything is gray. And if you're positive and if you want to, to fly, to realize yourself, I don't know, to do a lot of beautiful things, it's quite difficult to struggle on your own. What about the fashion in London? What do you think about the way English women dress? Do you think we're a bit lazy? No, that's the other thing What I like. what I like in London. The street fashion here, it's so fabulous, fantastic. Alice Lanyardo talking to Alexandra Kiabi. You've been listening to the voice of Russia in the heart of London. From me, Tim Walklate, and the rest of the team, goodbye.